Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop here in Payson, Utah. My name is Kate. Thank you guys for watching another one of our videos. I know we've only been uploading one video a week. We're trying to get more content filmed for all of you, but uh, we're just busy playing catch up. Honestly, we're just trying to keep up with all of our orders. This week we had some rain, some sunshine. Utah, it, it's, it's done this like two times already today where it just like comes down, clears up, comes back down, clears up. So I've, I've been trying to sneak out in the in-betweens to do my test rides. Orders coming in, Lewis had to pull out the pallet jack. Ethan built his first ice full fat and he was really excited. I built this one. You just know you're getting the best trike ever. This is your mirror. So. We're building trikes nonstop and getting them shipped out as quickly as we can because riding season is upon us. Today's video will be featuring two electric fat tad crawlers, each with a roll off hub in the rear, which we're gonna take a closer look at. These belong to Patricia and Mark and it's Mark's birthday today. So happy birthday, Mark, 82. That's impressive, 82 is impressive. Have the happiest of birthdays. Thank you for letting us make a video of your trikes. Hope you enjoy it. Beastly builds are identical. One was powder coated in metallic blue and the other in that super bright fluorescent orange. You can't miss that when you're out on the road. Oh, we've done a more in-depth review of the Fat Tad Crawler. If you want to see that, you can click the link at the top of the screen or follow the link that we will leave for you down in the description. Here's a quick summary though of why you may want to consider the crawler as your next trike purchase. The 26 by four inch fat tires perform fabulously in all sorts of terrain, sand, gravel, snow, you name it. Running those tires at a lower PSI will provide you with some excellent traction as well. The two piece gel mesh seat is breathable, comfortable and adjustable, or you can upgrade it to our UT custom mesh seat. It's got dual disc brakes on the front with locking brake levers, and you'll find a new Vinci N330 CVT hub in the rear, paired with a single crank set up front. The stock Fat Tad Crawler starts at $25.99, but we're not talking about stock Fat Tad Crawlers, oh no. Besides including double mirrors, power grip straps, a UT Custom Super Headrest, and our Utah Trikes aluminum cargo rack, each of these crawlers is outfitted with a 1000 watt Bafang mid-drive on the front end and features a roll-off 14-speed internally geared hub in the rear. Talk about a winning combination. If you know about gearing, you know about the roll-off hub. We'll talk about each of these features individually. I'm gonna have Lewis walk you through the 1000 watt Bafang and then we will get into the roll-off 14-speed transmission. So easy, put your battery on and take it off. But anyways, Lewis here, we're gonna talk about the Bafang. Different motor options. There's three, 500, 750, and 1,000 watt. One thing to keep in mind, the 500 and 750 watt are gonna have the same size casing for the motor. The 1,000 watt motor is actually gonna be a little bit bigger and heavier, but a lot more power. But why would you want a 500 watt as opposed to a 750 watt or a 1,000 watt? Like there's three motors. I'll, I'll let you know right now. 500 watt, first off, it's gonna be a little more affordable. It'll give you assist 
It's not overpowered though. So if you're, if you, if you just want some assist to help you just climb hills around your house and stuff like that, that's the way to go. Now the 750 watt will have a little more power. So if you're not like me, you have more mass to your structure, you're gonna want more power, obviously. So the 750 watts, the happy median between 1000 watt, full bore, super fun, 500 watt, help you climb hills, 750 watt, it's kind of in the middle. One of the most common questions we get asked is what is the range? And uh, it's kind of hard to tell you. There's a lot of variables that go into it. First off, rider weight. Second off, wheel size, tire tread, the terrain you're riding on. There's nine levels of pedal assist, so that just bumped the variables up even more. There's a lot. On average, we say 10 to 20. I've had a customer running his motor on assist level one. He got about 60 miles out of a battery. So it all depends on how much of the motor, how much you're relying on the motor will determine how far you go. What motor you go with really depends on the riding you do, what you want out of the motor. If you have more questions, you can always give us a call and we can answer any other questions you have. I'll show you how we operate the controller. So on the underside, there's two buttons. One, this first one on the left is for menu or mode. This one is the power button. So hold that down. You'll get Utah Trex logo. Down here in the left, you see this little notification. It's like, hey, your brakes are on. Squeeze your brake, unlock it, turns off. Squeeze the brake. What this does is cuts the power to the motor when the brakes are engaged. So the motor won't be burning up your brakes. Up here, there's a little light. So if you get our lighting system, you can hold the plus and that turns that off. Hold it again, turns it off. Speedometer right here on the left side that shows how much power is being drawn. And this shows how much the battery level is. Down here in the corner, you have a one or zero or two or three or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine. As I've mentioned before, nine is gonna be drawing the most power from the motor, and one will be drawing the least amount. So you have a lot of assist levels to choose between. Unlike the Shimano E-Steps that only has three different modes, the Bethang has nine. Over here, you have a throttle. Since the brakes are engaged, it's not gonna do anything. Another thing to keep in mind is in zero, you won't get anything from the throttle. In any assist level, however, from one to nine, the throttle is consistent at 100%. So if you really are in a jam, if you've gotta get across the street real quick, dodge traffic, what have you, you can push that throttle and go. You can turn the system off by holding the power button. There is an automatic shutoff feature that I believe is after five minutes of not being used. It will turn off by itself. And just like that, you guys are experts in the Bethang. Not really, but we are. So give us a call and we'll help you out.
now that you're a bit more familiar with the Bafang, let's look at the roll-off hub. When we mention this hub a lot, if you've seen our videos, you know we have said the word roll-off many times and that's because we love it. We have this actually like cool card that shows you all of the different components inside the hub when you turn it, which is pretty neat. This 14 speed internally geared hub comes out of Germany, a country well known for its many, many contributions to the cycling world. German engineering is impressive. They've created the roll off, the Schlumpf mountain and high speed drives and the pinion gearbox, the ultimate in gearing solutions. Germany is also home to HP Velotechnik, a manufacturer that makes incredible trikes like the Scorpion FS Enduro that we've shown you in a previous video. For 20 years, Roloff has set the standard for durability and longevity. This hub requires next to no maintenance and will run for thousands of miles with just an annual oil change. The 526% gear range gives you a ton of gears to get up hills and you'll still be able to pedal on the downhill for some mind blowing speed. The Roloff uses a dual cable system, which means one cable is always pulling the hub into its next gear. You can switch gears whenever you want, including while stopped or coasting. No more getting caught in a high gear at a stop sign or a red light. Those are days of yore. Those days are in the past. The twist shifter allows you to go from the highest to the lowest gear in just a matter of seconds. Using the Roloff and other internally geared hubs eliminates your need for a rear derailleur, raising the ground clearance of your trike as the derailleur is oftentimes only an inch or two from the ground. With the roll off, you don't have to worry about that. Your derailleur is not gonna get caught on branches. It's not gonna be hitting rocks in the trail. A lot of times that results in some pretty expensive damage. You don't have to worry about it because you don't have a derailleur anymore. The sealed hub is considered an all weather gearing system and can handle riding in rain or shine, through snowstorms or on muddy trails and cleaning the hub is quick and easy. Also, when you pair the roll off with an electric system like we have on these crawlers, having that much gear range allows the motor to run more efficiently, prolonging your battery life and increasing your range. Roll off offers lots of custom options as well. Hubs can be different widths to fit different trikes. You can opt for a hub with a disc brake mount, choose one with a standard axle or one with a quick release. We also offer a custom design 3D printed full length grip shifter instead of the half grip twist shifter. We print that here in the shop. So if you're interested in a full length grip shifter, we have that available for you. There are lots of reasons to choose the roll off 14 speed transmission, reliability, ease of use and improved gearing to name just a few. The one thing holding a lot of riders back, however, is cost. For example, putting a roll off on a trike like the fat tide crawler will run you about $1,500. However, if you are willing to spend the money, you will not be disappointed. That is a guarantee. We guarantee that you will be having so much fun with your roll off hub. Day or night, preferably during the day when you can see and be seen. So there's that. For today, my friends, if you're thinking of purchasing a fat tide crawler in the future, maybe these builds gave you a little bit of inspiration, or maybe you're thinking of changing up the gearing on a trike that you already have, the roll off is a good way to go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more riding shots right at the end of the video. Also, the majority of you actually miss the bloopers. You stop watching when the Utah Trikes logo pops up. There's more after that, you're missing out. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss anything new. Give us a thumbs up and catch us in the next video.
Yeah, go grab that. And then uh, there should be some pedals and a brake lever. So take the shifter off, move it to the left, dual pull on the left. So that's another thing. We customize trikes if you can't tell. Actually, we really haven't given you an update recently on like our staff here. You've met Weston, you've met Ethan, but have you met Noah? And I sold a trike today and the customer didn't really have uh, control of his right arm. So he set it all up on the left for the controls. He's been right back here building trikes the whole time. Noah is our newest member of the Utah Trikes crew. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Noah. Uh, I like mountain bikes, but trikes are good, I guess. I know how to work on them, so it's good. And you've built how many trikes since you started? What, two days ago? Yeah, eight. Probably around eight. Eight or seven, I'm not sure. Lots of trikes. He's building trikes like a madman, and we appreciate it, so. Yeah, it's fun. Catch Noah in our upcoming videos. Maybe we'll do some riding shots with Noah on the trikes, even though he likes mountain bikes better, but we don't have to talk I about that. I my mountain bike show you a... <laughs> okay, okay, he's a sassy. Noah's sassy, okay, I get it. <laughs> so, why motorize your trike, you may ask. One, motors are fun. Trikes with motors are cool. You can take that to the bank. Anyone you ask, they should know that. Go through that trail, but obviously, as you saw, can't do that. Happy birthday, Mark! Hey, yo, it's your birthday. It's your birthday, Mark. Yeah. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> You're welcome.